Hi, I'm Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a bad, forgotten movie that's actually entertaining as hell. Here is my review of Little Devils The Birth. Little Devils The Birth is a Canadian flick from 1993 with, well, Little Devils running amok in an apartment complex. At the start of the film, we see a nerdy looking guy named Lionel messing around with a gooey pit of sorts. We later find out that he is under control by an evil entity who is instructing him to use the goo in order to clay together little, violent creatures. Lionel is not our main character however, as that honor goes to one of his neighbors, Ed, a young writer of gory and filthy horror porn. He saves Lionel from local thugs one day, and then we follow Ed on his journey to get the heart of his lovely love interest, Lynn, before they are put together in danger due to these little devils. If I was going to put on my critics hat, I could easily have pointed out all the flaws of Little Devils The Birth, including the title that just rolls out of your tongue. The movie is silly, the effects are poor, there are hardly any story in this film, as the origins of these Little Devils are hardly explained in any way, shape or fashion, and the dialogue is not as clever as intended, and I'd also say that the movie could have been trimmed down about 10 minutes of a total running time of 90 minutes. But yet, I am not here to trash this lovely film, even if I do acknowledge its flaws. One reason for that is that I have a soft spot for these type of little violent puppet movies. I find enjoyment in most of them, from the bigger and better ones like Gremlins or Critters, to the more obscure ones like Beasties and Hobgoblins. While most of the lower budget ones have little to offer, it's still fun seeing small creatures run around and terrorize shitty human characters. I think that Little Devils The Birth stands out from the ladder though, as this is surprisingly high on the entertainment factor. There is something about the way this is put together that makes it feel like a film made by fellow horror fans. There is sincerity in it and it's obvious that the guys behind the camera knew exactly what they were making, knew the limitations of their budget, but didn't let it hinder their idea for what this movie was supposed to be. I don't have the rent. That's okay. It is. I only wanted to show you something. Oh, no, no, please. Not again with the underwear. Who mentioned underwear? Oh, please, Mrs. Madison! Please! Ed! <laughs> At heart, this is a horror comedy. While some of the comedy aspects of it might get lost for the average moviegoer, as it doesn't always hit you over the head with what parts are supposed to be funny or not. Which most of the comedy films of today do. The film does have some parts where they are being very frank about it and putting it right in your face, so make no mistake when you watch this film, the campy humor in it is put in there intentionally. Never had anything like this happen to me before. This sucks, I expect Well, actually, you know, it's horror territory we're in here. Get your genres right. One thing I enjoyed a lot about the characters in it was that Ed, although being our main character in the film, is not really the hero in it. It might look like it, and it gets the girl and the praise by the end of the film. But the love interest, Lynn, played by the lovely Nancy Vallon, is actually the smartest and toughest out of the bunch. For most part of the film, it's not Nancy who needs help getting away from the little devils, but rather Ed who messes up. It's a nice switch of the dynamic that we usually get from the horror genre, regardless of what budget it might have to work with. The puppets, which are what will make or break the film for most people, are awesome. They hardly move at all, without some noticeable camera work to try to hide the illusions of these not being living creatures. They all look pretty much the same also, except for some different gear as these little buggers don't just bite you, but also shoot you. Awesome. The final part where it's a full on war between the humans and the creatures are enough fun that you will forget that it all just takes place in a limited space of an apartment. What could possibly the humans use to destroy these fine, perfect creations of doom you might ask? Soda pup of course. If my enjoyment of these little devils don't come true enough verbally, then here. Have yourself a minute long treat of the greatness of these little things.
I wish this film was more popular so replicas of these puppets were sold, as I wouldn't mind having one myself. Speaking of things on my wish list, I also wish that we got more Little Devils movies, as it would give the bird part of the title more sense to it, and I wouldn't mind a bit more backstory of these creatures, where they came from and what their intent was. Yeah, we do get a small and rushed story towards the end of the film, but that could be elaborated and or changed in my opinion. Little Devils The Bird is the best Full Moon movie that Full Moon never made. Which is why we will sadly never see a Little Devils vs Puppet Master either. It does have a slow start and some embarrassing scenes to fill out the running time, but if you have the patience to stick through the start of it then you get a fun film with memorable puppet creatures that should keep anyone interested in these type of movies happy. This is not a film that everyone will find enjoyment in, and I would like to remind you that its current score on IMDb is only 2.5 out of 10. But if I'm speaking to someone who thinks that what you're seeing and hearing about here will suit you, then pick up Little Devils The Bird. It was re-released on DVD and an extremely limited VHS of only 25 copies by Shivers Entertainment earlier this year, and they have copies of the DVD on their site right now which I would recommend you to buy. Little Devils The Bird is not a great cinematic experience but it has great B-movie entertainment to it that overcomes its flaws. Little Devils the Bird gets a surprisingly high score of 4 out of 5. Anyone else out there on the interwebs that have seen Little Devils the Bird? I'd be interested in hearing what others might think of this film, and if you would rate it as highly as I do, as I'm gonna guess that I am the minority of people in the world that enjoys this film as much as I do. Any other films with small creatures like this that you do love? Feel free to recommend some to me and all this in the comment section below, and I'd also like to mention that I've just launched a Patreon site, so if you want to take a minute and check that out, then just follow the link in the description below. And of course, and always, thank you for watching. After dying, having living mud take over your body that only, only soda pop can kill, and then coming back to life again, ah, I feel like I've just been making a B-movie. Anyway, after all of that, I always say it's time for a refreshing beer. Cheers!